In the previous section, we learned the preparatory steps needed before building predictive models. In this section, we will learn about linear regression and the associated knowledge that goes into building linear regression models. In this section, we get introduced to linear regression, when it can be used, and how to build regression models in R. We will interpret the results and cover interaction analysis and residual analysis. Next, we learn how to select the best model from multiple combinations, compare models using ANOVA, and perform cross-validation. Finally, we will be building nonlinear models using splines and GAM. Linear regression is a widely accepted technique when you build predictive models for businesses. This is mainly because it's easier to explain the cause and impact and has a p-value to establish statistical significance. So here's what we will cover in this video. We'll start by understanding different types of variables from modeling perspective. Then we will see the concept and purpose behind linear regression, see how to create the training and test samples, also called development and validation samples. We will build linear regression models in R and tidy up the results using broom package. Finally, we'll predict our new data, see the components on the ELIM object, and take a closer look at accuracy measures. And finally, we will solve a challenge. There's a lot to cover in this video, so let's get to it. From predictive modeling perspective, the variables are of two types. The dependent variable, also called the Y variable, is the one we try to predict, and the independent variables are the X variables, the ones we use to predict the Y. There are some of the alternative names used to refer to the independent variables. So, we will be using these interchangeably as well. For example, in Prestige Dataset, if we want to predict income, then that is your dependent variable. It can also be called a response variable or just Y variable. All the other variables that can be used to explain income are called independent variables, also called explanatory variables, or predictors, or features, or just X variables. So, when to use linear regression? Linear regression is typically used when your Y variable is continuous. The idea is to build a mathematical formula that best explains the Y as a function of X's. In this formula, the beta 1 is the intercept and beta 2 coefficient is the slope. The predicted values of linear regression will always fall along a straight line. This line is called the line of best fit. The distance between the actual point and the predicted point measured along the perpendicular y-axis is called residual. Note that the residual is the line in black measured along the y-axis and not the line in red. That is perpendicular distance from the line of best fit. Now let's see how to build a regression model. Let's start by creating the training and test data sets. These data sets are also commonly referred to as development sample and validation sample. The training data is the one we use to build the model. Then we use the model thus built. and only the X variables in test data to compute the values of Y in test data. This way, we can compare the actual Y in test data against the model predicted Y. This is done so as to establish the accuracy of the model. But in real-world production environment, instead of test data, we'll have new data, where the actual Y variable will not be known at the time of building the model. Let's prepare the training and the test data sets. We will take 70% of the data for the training model and the rest of the 30% for testing it. The sample function randomly picks 
70% of the numbers. From 1 to the number of rows in prestige, we have set the seed to 100 so that the random sampling can be reproduced with that seed. So trained rows contain the roll numbers of training data and the remaining rows will go in the test data. Now let's build a regression model where we include multiple x variables. For now, we have arbitrarily selected a couple of x variables for model. So LM mod is a linear regression model. So these can be interpreted as prestige equals negative 9.85 plus 0 0.001585 times income plus 4.21 times education. You can see the contents of LM mod using the names function. The LM mod object contains a lot of information, but the summary provides all important information we need to know. We will learn how to interpret this output in the next video. Let's tidy the results in a publishable table. Let's predict the prestige on test data. The predict function uses the LM model and a data frame that contains the values of x variables that go into the equation of LM model. It's okay if the test data contains the actual y also, but the predict function won't use it. Let's compare the accuracy by computing the mean square error and MAPE. The lowest the error, the better your model. Since we computed the accuracy on test data, this is called test error or validation error. Your challenge is to rebuild the same model and compute the mean square error, MSE, and MAPE on training data. Since this is the first time we're doing this, I haven't provided a URL for this code. So, you could get some practice by coding it by hand. So, here is the answer. Alternatively, we could just use the regr.eval function from dmwrpackage. We have seen the basic implementation of linear regression. 